Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name's Preeti and I'm India's first cruelty-free beauty blogger. I talk about all things cruelty-free and I also cover vegan beauty and lifestyle tips. If this is the kind of content that you might enjoy, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I put up a video and continue watching this video. So I wanted to do this thing where I talk about multiple products from a single brand, so like a single brand review per video. And I really wanted to do this because it's gonna be easier for you guys to check out all the products that I've tried from the brand and also help you pick and choose the ones that might work for you and might not work for you. So I did a poll on my Instagram stories where I asked you guys which brand would you like me to review first on my YouTube channel and majority of you guys voted for Cures. So today's video is a single brand review on Cures and all the products that I've tried from this brand. Cures is an indie cruelty-free brand from India. It's also vegan and I absolutely love this brand. You guys I've been trying it out since 2019 and I'm completely hooked I love the brand I love its ethics and I love how simple yet approachable the brand is so I collaborated with the brand in 2019 and since then I've been hooked I've been trying out different products from the brand the brand has launched a lot of products in 2019 and in 2020 and I'm really proud of them you guys are doing a very very good job if you haven't checked out the brand yet you really are missing out on something really really special because this brand has excellent products. So Indian brands are cruelty free like I've mentioned in my previous videos. They can't test on animals because Indian laws don't permit that. Now since most of the indie startups don't sell abroad or even in mainland China, they are cruelty free. Now the brand is also vegan and I know what you guys are thinking. How can soaps and essential oils and sunscreens and all of that be vegan? Now the thing is the brand is trying to own the vegan space in India. And what I mean by that is they want to launch more products that have vegan alternatives to a lot of skincare products that don't have plant-based ingredients. So a lot of people question them when they launch maybe their facial oils or their sunscreens and whatnot saying, how can that be vegan? I mean, everything is vegan anyway when it comes to essential oils. And I get it, you guys. I want to clear this in the start of the video that it's the vision of the brand. Yes, essential oils are vegan, but you need to understand that this is the vision that the brand wants to go forward with. Um, I wanted to make this clear before I dive into the reviews because I know I get this question quite a lot in my DMs that how is a sunscreen vegan? How is a face mask vegan and so on? So I just wanted to clarify this. Certain ingredients in a lot of our skincare products are not vegan. In fact, I've already made a video on the difference between vegan and cruelty-free and if in fact they both are the same or not. I'm going to leave the link up somewhere here so that you guys can check it out. You get a better understanding of what exactly is vegan and why certain brands put themselves as vegan, claim that vegan space and not just cruelty free. That video will help you understand all those things better. So now I'm going to jump into each product one by one. I'm going to give you guys my honest review as always. I'm just going to put a disclaimer here saying that, listen, your skin's different, my skin's different, your hair is different, so is mine. So what products work for me may or may not work for you. This is my personal experience. So don't come at me. Skincare, beauty, hair care is subjective. All right. So let's jump into these reviews. The first product is the activated charcoal scrub mask. That's what it looks like. So this is a revamped packaging of late 2019. In the beginning of 2019, the brand had done a tub packaging. It was a plastic tub. I personally preferred that. Yes, it's not the most hygienic, but it was easier to just dip my fingers into it. A lot of people complain about the tube being very difficult to push out all the product because the scrub mask is quite thick. And that was an issue a lot of people had. I personally didn't face that with my first tube, but the second one that I purchased, I did face that issue. So maybe they could make the hole of this, of this little dispenser a little bigger, which would make it easier for the thick scrub mask to come out. Now, the first tub packaging that they had, the product in that was slightly drier. Um, when you apply it on your face, it would not have that slip when you wash your face. So what the brand has done is that they've revamped their packaging and revamped their product quality. And this one has the perfect slip. So when you apply the mask on your face and when you're washing it off, it almost feels like a gel-like texture and that, that makes it so easier to wash the mask off. And it's also way more hydrating than the previous version of this mask. So this, the brand had sent me, it's an empty, and this is a repurchase that I made, I think two, three weeks ago. So I'm gonna quickly show you the texture of this mask. And that's what it looks like. It's really easy to spread. 
and it does have granules in it which help to give you like a slight scrub when you wash your face. Now what I really like about this face mask is that it works really well on reducing inflammation, it works really well on controlling all the sebum production on your face and it does all of this without over drying your skin. So the active ingredients like kaolin clay, china clay, bentonite powder, activated charcoal, all of these work in a very holistic way to remove the excess sebum and excess oils from your face. Now while it does that, it does not over dry your skin and that's what I really like about this face mask because it's got an excellent ingredient list of clove oil, tea tree oil, sunflower oil, um, aloe vera and a lot of other ingredients that actually give you that nourishing feel to the skin. This combined with the walnut powder gives you that decent little scrub. So a lot of people feel that this is going to give them micro tears on the skin. Now guys, if you don't go ham into your skin, you're not going to give yourself micro tears. You need to be very gentle when you're washing this face mask off because it does dry really fast. Like you need 10 minutes and it's dried out completely and you just need to wet your whole face, let the water seep in, let the mask become soft and then wash it off. So don't go ham because you will irritate and damage your skin. How I like to use this is when I feel like I'm having a purge or if I'm having a whole breakout all over my face, I like to go in with the full face mask of this. Otherwise, every other week, I like to use it on my T-zone, like right here. And that's about it. I also like to spot treat with this. So if I see like a inflammation or an acne situation just popping out, I like to spot treat with this like three times um, in a week and I can notice a considerable difference in the inflammation. I love, love, love this face mask. It's worked really well for my skin and I, I just love it. I highly recommend this if you have extremely oily skin, if you have combination skin that leans towards the oily side and if you have um, acne prone skin. Before I forget, you can use my code Preeti, that's my name, P-R-E-I-T-I, for 15% off across their website. It's an affiliate code, so every time you use it, I get a tiny kickback which helps support my blog, my equipment, my YouTube and all of that. Next product is something that you've probably heard me rave about nonstop on my blog, on my Instagram. It's all over the place, you guys. I absolutely love this product. Can you guess what the product is? I can't hear you. It's the sunscreen. <laughs> it's a sunscreen, you guys. I absolutely love the sunscreen. So I'm gonna talk about the old sunscreen, the old version of it, and the new one that they launched recently, like late 2019. So this is what the sunscreen looks like. It's an empty, and this is the brand new packaging. This was sent to me by the brand. This is what I repurchased a few weeks ago, along with the activated charcoal scrub and a lot of other products from the brand. Now, what I really like about the sunscreen, you guys, is that it's mattifying. It does not leave that ugly white cast all over your face. It does not have any toxic ingredients that could harm our oceans. It's also really, really budget friendly and does the job, you guys. It's a broad spectrum SPF. It's got a vegan formula, non-toxic ingredients. You don't have to worry about the coral reefs getting damaged. It also is an indie startup brand. And I am so proud that an indie startup has launched um, a sunscreen that works, you guys. Brands like Lacme don't have good sunscreens. And I've spoken about that on my Insta stories too. The Lacme sunscreen is by far the worst sunscreen I've used in my life. And this was such a pleasant surprise because it doesn't leave that gray cast. It doesn't turn blue on the face. It doesn't leave a white cast and it really does the job. A lot of sunscreens that I've used are really good, but they have that really greasy feel on my face and I don't enjoy that one bit because I can't level up my foundation on it. Um, everything just goes all over the place. My hair keeps sticking on my face. It's just a hot mess. Even if I try to set it down with like a powder, but this one is instantly matte, you guys. You have to work a little fast with it because it does um, dry pretty quickly. But what I like to do with this is I take a bit and I like to spread it out. I'm gonna show you really quickly how I do it. And then I like to tap it. And then I like to use a beauty blender to just blend out any rough edges. And then I go in with a setting powder or a makeup setting spray and then you're done. You can also apply a compact powder on this so that you're ready for work or college and you don't have to worry about too much of a makeup situation happening. So the packaging is very similar to the charcoal scrub mask. This is what the sunscreen looks like. I'm gonna quickly apply this right here. Very smooth creamy consistency and this white cast that you see here disappears really fast you guys you don't have to worry about a thing you just gotta blend it in you blend it in and then just tap blend it in tap and wait for a few seconds just wait for a few seconds till it all sinks in 
and then you can go ahead and um, smooth out any rough edges on your face with the sunscreen. You won't have to worry about your sunscreen clumping up on your face or in your hairline. This really doesn't do it. Um, if you have a lot of facial hair, it might get stuck in your facial hair, so be a little careful. But you can always uh, tap it down. Just tap it down, blend it out, and use a beauty blender and just sort everything out. So after blending, this is what it looks like. It gives you a nice glow and it's it's just so mattifying. It, there's no sheen at all. It's a complete matte formula and it's not greasy at all. You need to be a little careful when you're going near the hairline because sunscreens like these do tend to stick to your hair. So be a little careful. Don't let it go all clumpy in the corners. Just tap, tap, tap in the corners and use a beauty blender whenever you can. That's the best way to go about this. So this is how the older packaging looked like. This is an empty. I just kept it so that I could show you whenever I made this video how the packaging looked before and after. On my blog, I've done a detailed comparison of the older version and the new version. I'm going to link it down in the description so that you guys can read it. The main striking difference for me was that this was slightly clumpy and the new formula is not. This was a little difficult to apply. Um, the new one is not. The new one is a more creamier formula and it's so easy to apply. I highly recommend this if you have oily skin, acne prone skin, combination skin. It does not clog your pores. It's not going to break you out. It's not going to be greasy. It sets really well under foundation as well. So it's a win-win for me. It's budget friendly. You can use my code PT for 15% off. Now this sunscreen is going to work for all skin types as the brand says. But if you have really dry skin, be sure to moisturize your skin because if you don't moisturize your skin, skin um, this is just going to sit in all those dry spots of your face and you don't want that this is by far the best sunscreen from india that i have personally used and i've used quite a bit you guys i have convinced so many of you guys to try out this sunscreen on my instagram and so many of you dm me and i'm actually so happy that you trust my reviews and that this did not disappoint you because this didn't disappoint me either it's honestly such a good sunscreen that there is no other alternative to this moving on to a product that didn't quite impress me and this is they are face mist so this was sent to me again in 2019 this is the aloe vera and cucumber refreshing mist toner after i applied this i could feel it on my face like i could feel it sitting on my face and i didn't enjoy it one bit you guys probably know i've never spoken about this on my insta stories because i didn't really like it it didn't work for me i have oily skin and i don't want things sitting on my face if you have extremely dry skin this would be really good for you the aloe and cucumber one but for me it really didn't work now i don't know if the brand has revamped their formula this year or late 2019 because i never repurchased this again this was sent to me by the brand it kind of disappointed me you guys it didn't work for me but um that is my experience on oily skin so if you have dry skin this will work really well for you but if you have oily combination acne prone skin you might want to give this a miss the next product is a neem and basil bathing bar and it's an empty you guys this is all that's left of it it's a handmade soap and i really like this because it smells so good you guys it smells so so nice, so herbalicious. What I really like about this bathing bar is that first it's actually plastic free, it's handmade, and you don't have to worry about too much of a plastic waste, especially with shower gels. And the second thing that I like about this is that it really does lather up really well. It cleans the body, does not over dry your skin. However, if you have extremely dry skin on your body, this might over dry your skin. So go in with a moisturizer always. To sum it up, it's a really good bathing bar because it smells great. It's not over drying. It has no plastic waste. And also it's from an indie brand that's cruelty free. We need to start shopping local, you guys. It's a much better way to live because not only are you reducing your dependency on other countries, but you're also promoting homegrown brands. Next product is the Seven Herbs Shampoo Bar. And this has Bringvrat, Shikakai, Brahmi, Vita, Neem, Amla and Basil. And it's also got tea tree and lemongrass essential oil. And this is what it looks like. I've used this four times so far, you guys, and it's still the same size. Now, what I like about this shampoo bar is that it works really well. It lathers really well. It cleans your whole scalp and your hair. And you don't have to worry about um, any residue on your hair. So for me, I anyway use sulfate-free, silicone-free products on my hair. I didn't have to worry too much about like a transition phase. But if you use a lot of silicone sulfate shampoos, you will have to do a transition phase. So this shampoo bar is free of sulfate and silicone. I didn't have to do any transition phase. It worked beautifully. It lathered really well. It cleaned my hair really well. It also didn't over dry my scalp or over dry my hair. Of course, you have to go in with a conditioner every time you use any of these herbal soaps and shampoos on your hair because they do leave a slight drying effect on your hair. 
Um, however, it's not excessive. With this, it's not excessive. If you have a very thick hair mask, you will find a little bit of a problem when you use this for washing your hair. But overall, it's a really, really good shampoo bar and it's really budget friendly, you guys. There's absolutely no plastic waste. It comes wrapped in a paper and even the packaging is paper. So you don't have to worry about any plastic waste. Now, the shampoo bar also has coconut oil, sunflower oil, soybean and some more oils. I think castor oil as well. Now, these oils act really nicely in a whole holistic combination to add all that nourishment and moisture back to your scalp and your hair and that's what i really like about this shampoo bar the next product is a shampoo bar and this is the lavender and vegan keratin shampoo bar now this was a very soft mold you guys it came to me all crumbled up and i had to squeeze it all together press it down when it was wet and make it a mold so i'm very gentle with this i don't want to break it again what i really like about this is that not only does it clean my scalp clean my hair really well it gives me a nice shine to my hair which is what keratin is supposed to do it gives you that strength and that shine and in a really long time no shampoo bar has given me that I've used maybe a couple of them and um, even the one that I talked about previously, the Seven Herbs one, it doesn't give me that shine, but this one really does that. It also works really well to nourish my scalp without over drying it. Now, while both of these shampoo bars work really well on my scalp and on my hair, I prefer this one because it gives me that shine, it gives me that strength to my hair, and the perfume, the lavender perfume is so nice. It's just so beautiful on my scalp. I really like the Seven Herbs one too, but if I had to pick between these two, I would definitely go for this. My only problem with this is that the mold is a little too soft, and if it came broken to me, I'm guessing it could be broken in a lot of other orders, so, if the mold could be slightly more hard, a harder mold, that would work really well for the brand. Next product is again a handmade bathing bar and this is lavender and coconut milk variant and this is what it looks like. I've used this only twice so far thrice so far and it hasn't lost any shape because it is a very sturdy mold now what i really like about the cures bathing bars is that even if you use them like four or five times you won't see a difference in the size of the bar like a lot of other shampoo bars and soap bars bathing bars that i've used they kind of reduce their size within the first two or three washes and by the next 15 washes your soap is done but this one even the previous one the neem and basil one lasted me more than I think 60 days. Now this one, the coconut milk and lavender one is my personal favorite. If I had to pick between both of these, a neem and basil and this one, I would pick this one, you guys, because I find this way more moisturizing than the neem and basil one, mainly because of the coconut milk element that they have to it. Coconut milk is such an excellent moisturizing element. And if you use this in your bathing bars, in your shampoo creams, in your lotions, it works really well for adding that nourishment back to your skin. I really like the neem and basil one, you guys, but if I had to choose a winner between both of them, it's definitely the coconut milk and lavender one because it's so nourishing, so moisturizing on the skin. So if you have dry skin, excessive dry skin, this is a very good shampoo bar for you. If you have regular skin type too, this will work really well. The neem and basil one might be over drying for your dry skin, so keep an eye out for that. Now, apart from using coconut milk in their bathing bar, the brand has also used soybean oil, castor oil, sesame oil, a bunch of other oils, and also shea butter, which works really well for moisturizing your skin as it washes your skin. And that's why I think this is gonna work really well if you have dry skin on your body, or if you just want a, a bathing bar that works like a shampoo cream of sorts. Again, I feel this is the winner from both the bathing bars. I would definitely repurchase this. I purchased this a few weeks ago and I am so impressed with this. I'm definitely getting this again. Now, the last and final product from Cures that I've tried out is the Bacchiol oil. And this one has hemp seed, vetiver and turmeric. And it's a revitalizing facial oil. And this is what it looks like. It's a tiny, cute little bottle. And um, this oil basically works on improving your skin texture, giving your skin that strength, glow and also works as an anti-aging um, facial oil it helps to improve your skin texture even if you have acne and breakouts now all the percentages of the essential oils are mentioned on the package it's got jojoba hemp seed kalonji bakuchiol vetiver lavender sweet lime peppermint and turmeric now what all of these oils do as a holistic combination is that they give you a glow from within by reducing the visibility of fine lines 
pores, uh, wrinkles, also help to reduce inflammation, redness. Now I've been using this oil for a few weeks you guys and I've noticed that my skin feels really plump after I use it. I use it overnight, I don't use it in the morning very often, I like to use it at night. Sometimes I like to use it as a base under my makeup. I don't apply foundation but I do have compact and my concealer so today I've used this oil as a base to give me that boost of glow and plump my skin up and uh, what I like about this facial oil is that it really does work in controlling inflammation on your skin. So if you have problem areas where you have acne, this will work really well to calm all of that inflammation. Now, Bakuchiol is known as the nature's alternative to retinol, and that's mainly because um, it has similar properties as that of retinol in improving your skin texture and um, giving you that tightening effect on your skin while reducing fine lines, wrinkles, and also helping you combat acne. Now, it does not do a 100% job as retinol would, but it does have similar properties and can help you um, get a desired result without the use of uh, retinol. So I just have the last few drops of this oil left. It's a slight yellow color and it blends into the skin so well, you guys. It smells so nice. It smells so herbal and you can really smell each essential oil in it because it's just it's such a beautiful combination and after you blend it into your skin that's how it looks it gives you like a nice sheen and it's not greasy it's not too sticky it does not sit on your skin it actually absorbs into the skin really well all of the ingredients used in this oil are ethically sourced from farms in Uttarakhand and Rajasthan and the best part is that this box has basil seeds in it inside of it so you can quickly just tear this up and put it in your pot and grow a basil plant i haven't done that just yet but i'm gonna start doing that because i really need some basil in my life another thing that i really like about the brand is that they're really trying different alternatives to their packaging like this one for instance has basil seeds in it the ingredients are ethically sourced from rajasthan and uttarakhand in the oil another thing is that this paper this entire paper package is made from post-consumer material in layman's term it's recycled paper and i think that's a really cool approach because um a lot of big brands aren't taking this step. I see a lot of indie upcoming brands, not just in India, but around the world who are very conscious about their approach with their products because they really do want to make a change, which the bigger brands aren't doing. So that's the entire review on Cures with all the products that I've tried from the brand. I absolutely love this brand, you guys. Um, this brand has been in my skincare vanity since 2019. I've reviewed it on my blog so long ago. And um, I absolutely love how this brand is transforming and taking different approaches to their marketing, to their production. Prerna is doing such an excellent job. And honestly, this brand is going to go like really, really far because I know the potential that this brand has. It was also a moment of great pride for me when Prerna reached out to me for the affiliate program. I was the first affiliate to be on that program. And honestly, I was so excited because I absolutely love this brand. And I've been putting out my codes for you guys all the time because I really want you guys to use the code get a discount not just because it's an affiliate thing but i want you guys to really try this brand to know what i'm talking about a detailed review on cures was something that was highly requested in my dms and you guys wanted me to talk about this i have done blogs and i have spoken about the brand on my insta stories but you guys really wanted like an in-depth session so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did Please like the video and share it with anybody who wants to know more about this brand. All right, so let me know what were your favorite products from Cures by commenting below. Let me know which other brands you would like me to cover in this series. And while you're at it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out all of my previous videos right here. I will catch you guys later in my next YouTube video or in my Instagram, wherever you guys want to find me. Take care, stay hydrated and use good skincare for your skin type. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Peace. Ciao.